there's a, a glucose transporter, it's called GLUT1, that transfers glucose into the brain. That's deficient in Alzheimer's. And then there's another glucose transporter, type 3, that's deficient, that transports glucose into neurons. It's, it's um, uh, Insulin is directly or indirectly involved with getting glucose into the brain and into brain cells. So what they found was that there was insulin resistance and insulin deficiency, I, you know, the idea that insulin even crossed the blood-brain barrier, that was kind of new, new information that it did. It was always thought that insulin was not made in the brain and was not, did not transport into the brain, but they found out quite the opposite. Um, and so they, you know, uh, found also, they, they looked at people at various stages of the disease. And they found that at the early, that this was already present at the earliest stages of the disease, and that it it worsened and spread throughout the brain um, as the disease progressed. So this was a really serious problem, and it's really been known since the 1980s that there's decreased glucose uptake in the Alzheimer brain. So they were able to figure out a big component of why that happens. It's this insulin resistance problem in the brain, which is very much like type two diabetes. 